U.S. drove coalition warplanes bombarded the Syrian armed force in the territory of Homs in Focal, Syria. As indicated by expert government sources, the airstrikes were trailed by another assault in a similar territory, this time by ISIS. South Front reports, if reports are affirmed, it will be another indication of the long-standing U.S. battle went for undermining the counter-ISIS endeavors of the Syrian-Iranian-Russian Union in the war-torn nation. Prior, representative for the United States Department of State, Heather Nauert, said that the U.S. has no plans to stay in Syria after ISIS is vanquished. How could such proclamations be solid in the midst of the U.S. activities on the ground? Just a week ago a representative for the Syrian Democratic Forces, SDF, 1A, U.S.-sponsored collusion of volunteer armies overwhelmed by the Kurdish YPG, said the U.S. had a key enthusiasm in remaining in the locale for a considerable length of time after ISIS is crushed. Talal Silo told Reuters they, the U.S., have a methodology approach for a considerable length of time to come. There will be military, monetary and political ascensions in the long haul between the initiative of the northern regions, of Syria, and the U.S. organization.